What's up, guys? We are playing the Haunted Castle of Malloy Part 5. Part 5. If I'm wrong, guys, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to tell you guys what I did off camera. So, off camera, I got this little whistle thing. It's pretty annoying. But we still need to explore all of the. I haven't done grounds. that. So, let's go ahead and do that. Those are my favorite things to do. It doesn't work. What is this? We'll come back to this. Rotten bird again. This whistle does not work. I swear. Is that it? Can't check that off yet. Everything happens in the dark game. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. So let's see who's up paper was actually. Right uh, more castle grounds. I wanna get into that tower. What's going on? I found the sketch you did on the ground outside. What's it for? What, that? I was just messing around. See, I'm into real estate, and whenever I see an interesting tract of land, I like to sketch out how I'd develop it. Just to, you know, keep the juices flowing. It doesn't mean anything. I was just doodling. Great, sure, so it's okay if I keep sure. this. Uh, sure. Go right ahead. I'd better get going. See ya. Bye. Keep it real. You have a lead? Mostly I have a question. Do you know anything about this sketch? I found it outside. It looks like a drawing for some kind of housing development for the land the castle sits on. Apparently Kit did them. Did you ask him to? No, and I seriously doubt Matt did either. Kit must have done those on his own. The question is, why? Anyway, I thought of something else you can do for me. Since yes. there's a possibility, however remote, that there are forces at work around here that none of us completely understands, I think it only prudent to do what I can to counteract them. To that end, I would like to include these herbs and flowers in my wedding bouquets. According to Irish lore, each of them is believed to be associated with things I could use a little more of right now. Great. If you could pick them for me and put them in that vase over there, that would be wonderful. Here's a basket. Thanks. This, I don't know of where course, you got this means basket that in from. spite of whatever it was I saw in the nursery, I still believe there will indeed be a wedding. Because no matter who or what took Matt, you're going to find him, Nancy. I have to believe that. Please don't let me down. I'm gonna go play detective now. Right. Anytime you want to talk, I'll be right here. You got it, Chief. This dude is crazy. Where did you get that basket? You didn't even get up. Let's go pick some random flowers. I think I saw flowers at the start. You saw flowers at the start? Like, 
right around the thing. And maybe we can find a flower too by yeah, like these are here. Okay. What about these? No. Wait. I mean it's checked off. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Let's go to the bog. You said herbs, and like, there's herbs there. That's how we got rid of all the bugs. We threw herbs at them. Is that a shovel? Still need wool. Here we go. Herbs. Where do we find the key? We need to find the key for that box. I do not know where it is. Who lives in that hut anyways? It's a random hut. Remember there's roses. There's def everybody needs roses. Everybody needs roses on their wedding bouquets, I guess. Remember there's roses by that gnome thing. That's a well. <sighs> Here we go. Nope. There we go. I knew there was roses. What other flowers do I know where they are? Maybe that little hut where the sheep are? Go away. Creepy sheep. Oh, just an infinite. over here. Nothing over here. That's a border. There are flowers over here. Oh, this is the bird. Oh, shooting star. Ha. Huh. <coughs> nothing else. Is that it? Did we get everything? We did it. No, we didn't. Some more. Hmm. Where would we find the last flower? Trying to think. Oh wait. Should we look the car? Should we just grab a handful of these flowers? Got it. That's all of them. 
Let's go put him in the base or the boss or it's a base. Okay, it's not the boss, it's the base. I don't know how to say the boss or whatever. It's a base. Something like that. Yo, Matt. What's, what's going on? Boy? Nothing. I'd better that's get going. That's not Matt, that's Kit. See ya. See ya. Are you sure you guys aren't brothers? Got all the flowers. Let's put them right here. Should probably tell her we got all the flowers first. Don't forget to pick those flowers for me. I won't, I promise. I'll catch you later. As soon as you find out anything, let me know. Missing a flower. Seven flowers. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. All done. All done. All done. I haven't done that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Check. Did that. Did that. Check. Can't check that off yet. Hmm. Still have to win that dark game. What's on your mind then? What do you know about the stone pillars with all the weird writing on them? I've never been able to make heads or tails of them. Even bought me a book on OM runes. Waste of good money that was. Oum runes? All those lines. Ancient Celtic symbols they are. Runes. Spell out something. I lack the time and patience to work out just what. I wouldn't mind mm. having a go at it. Do you think I could borrow your book? Sorry to say, I'm not in a lending mood at the moment, lass. A wee bit of me favorite drum music would put me right, but the band can't be playing it because their drummer took sick. Looking mm. for someone to take his place, they are. I could probably fill in. I mean, not permanently, but... Go to it, then. One ditty is all. Play it well enough, and the book will be yours. Seamus will help you get started. Okay. What a fine lass you are for helping out the band. Now here's what you do. Watch the cue. When it reaches the drum, just hit the corresponding section of the bowring with the beater. Keep doing that till the song's over. And if you've kept the beat well enough, the band will split their tips with you. They're about to start. Just watch the bar. Keep your wits about ya, and you'll do fine.
Seventy's not bad. That was a middling job. Nevertheless, here are your tips. Sweet as clover to the honeybee, that was. Here's the book. Thank Keep you. Keep it as long as you like. No, you'll not soon have need of it. Will you be wanting something else from me then? Nope. Guess I'll go now. Be careful out there, lass. I did a decent job. <laughs> See how we're gonna do this. Ten. Oh shoot! I did not mean to do that. Okay, so we have to try to get everything um out. Try to get to a zero. So now we're gonna do ten, and then we're gonna do a one. And then a four, and then a, and then I have a one. And then we need a ball. Let's get the second prize. Dang. Fifty. Twenty-six. So let's do four. And then we need a one. And then a oh shoot, you lost. Lost. That sucks. Okay. So now we need to get ten. That's oh no, that's not. That was fifteen. Okay, so now let's do a one. Get the ten out of the way. Um, is there a six? Yeah, here it is. Six. So let's do a four and a six. Yes. Coins. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's call some people. Let's call some people, actually. Dang, guys, we got a lot of stuff. Oh, we can solve the puzzle now because we have the extra gear. Um, best smart. Hi, what's up? Just checking in. What's new there? Nancy, this is the best party ever. Translation, Amazing Abs has talked to her twice. Have you seen Ned? When I talked to him, he sounded weird. Should we tell her? We kind of have to now, don't we? Tell me what? Minky McNabbed here in all her bikini-clad boy-crazy splendor. And when she saw Ned and didn't see you, Beeline City, Ned has wisely gone into hiding. Oh, poor Ned. That's what he gets for being so cute. So, how are you doing, Nance? My cell phone bit the dust when I drove into the ditch, so I'm calling from the payphone of this quaint little country inn. Quaint as in charming, or quaint as in a borderline health hazard? Quaint as in a place where people go to play games like darts and relax over their favorite combination of fruit juices. In fact, anytime I want to play the games here, I can earn tokens by mixing drinks. Turns out that's something I'm pretty good at. You've been mixing drinks for people? Who's you? Shouldn't it's you me be doing something a little more made of honorly? The caretaker, Mr. Delaney, hangs out here. It's the only way I could get him to talk. Why do you want to talk to the caretaker? I promised Kyler I'd find Matt. I figured Mr. Delaney might know something that could help me. And did he? He says Matt was kidnapped by fairies. How bet you were thrilled to hear that. Kyler asked me to pick some special herbs and flowers to add to her wedding bouquet. What do you mean by special? According to Irish lore, each plant is associated with something like happiness, courage, peace, love. 
Things that would be good to have a lot of when you're getting married. What brought that on? All the strange goings on around here are starting to get to her. I think she's just doing whatever she can to keep the forces of good on her side or something. In other words, she's hedging her bets. In other words, she's I losing get a Bible it. She's and starting to believe in silly superstitions. She's getting oh, married. I mean, what about how a bride is supposed to wear something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue? Would you call that a silly superstition? Marco. Yeah. It's a custom, George, practiced by brides for centuries. Customs like that are what make weddings so beautiful. You're so unromantic. Yes. I always thought shoving cake into your brand new spouse's face kind of looked like fun. You're hopeless. I'll let you get back to the party. Keep in touch. Later. All right, y'all boys. Stay tuned for part six.